guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to share with you my early Christmas gift that I got from my sweet husband, which is a Timeco battery operated vacuum. First we'll do an unboxing and then we'll clean my family room and kitchen. So without further ado, let's get started. So like I said before, this is a Timeco Pure One S12 series smart vacuum cleaner and it is powered by a battery. First attachment that I'm opening is a direct drive LED multitasker power brush. Now it can be used on both the uh, hardwood floors and carpets. And it's very effective for agitating dirt bedded into the carpet and it is very good at finding dust and debris. Next, located in this drawstring device bag is the main body. And this is where you'll see the display, digital display screen, and how much is charged, and then that's where the battery goes in, and all the attachments will attach here at the end. Next up is the mini power brush, and that's for vacuuming upholstered furniture and mattresses. Um, it vacuums pet hair and removes ingrained dirt. So this is an automatic pre-filter cleaning tool. So what you do is you use this tool by connecting it to the main body and then you put a dirty filter into it and it will clean it. So this is one of the two pieces for the mounting dock. And this is going to be mounted to the wall and then that, this is where you will recharge and store your vacuum. So this is the extra lithium battery I really like that the vacuum comes with two uh, batteries. That's great for when you're wanting to do a longer clean. And this is your dual adapter and that will plug into the wall and then into your charging device. Up next is your soft dusting brush. Now this is suitable for dusting shelves, lighting, delicate surfaces, electronics and more and it's oval and it actually has an anti-static cushion contact on the bristles and they are very slender and it's oval. This next accessory is a crevice tool and it is great for corners and other hard to reach places. This next one is a two-in-one dusting brush. It is composed of wide and soft brush and is able to switch from the wide brush to the soft brush by pressing the release button. The soft brush is for like hard surfaces, furniture, and the wide brush is able to do upholstered furnitures or curtains. Also, I showed real quick the second piece to the wall mounted dock. This piece is the extender tube that will attach directly to the main body. Last but not least is the flexible long crevice tool. It has a part that extends out that it is flexible and it's great for those hard to reach area. So here's all the pieces that you get laid out nicely so that you can see them all. So let's go ahead and put this vacuum to the test and we'll first start in my kitchen right after I get done with cleaning up after breakfast. I'd try out the soft dusting brush and I thought it would be perfect for going over and getting some of the crumbs on the table runner and also going over the lanterns and the kitchen tray that I have in the center and then I also liked it for fitting in around the window seal we are home, we so far I think it has done a fabulous job for picking up uh, crumbs and dog hair on the wood floor as well as on the carpets. I've had this for about three weeks so um, I really do think that it does a great job. So if you're watching and you're new I wanted to formally introduce myself. My name is Amy. I like to do videos on cleaning decorating and lifestyle so if you'd be interested in seeing that type of content 
uh, why don't you go ahead and hit that red subscribe button down below. I'd love to have you back. to show you this is my first empty and look how much hair and dust that it picked up it does a really good job Now in this area we tend to have tons of crumbs and especially that rug in front of the sink. I don't know if you can see, the camera doesn't really show all the dog hair, but it is filthy. So I want to show you that after I've uh, vacuumed it with the tine coat. Ooh, look how clean. And it does just as good as my electric Kenmore canister vacuum did. So I don't know about you, but I love to light a candle after my room is nice and clean. So that's what I'm doing here. And then I'll be moving on to our foyer. But first, here's a quick overview of how my kitchen looks once I'm finished. Now moving on to the foyer table, I'm just gonna take everything off and then give it a quick dusting with a two and one dusting brush. Great job, there's no dust in sight. Take a look. Oh, and before I go any further, I do want to mention that this is not sponsored in any way, and I would never tell you something or review something and give you false data. This is just what I truly think of this vacuum. And one of my favorite things about this is that it fits perfectly between the spindles on my staircase. And that just made me so happy because with my other vacuum, I always had to swivel it and use my hand to get the dust. This way, I can just do it with the tool itself and it just works perfectly. So, here's a very close up shot of my staircase. I really wanted you to see that it does pick up the dust and the dirt and the hair. It does a great job. Finally, moving on to the last room that I'll be hitting today, and it's probably the dirtiest because it is our family room that's where we spend most of our time, but I wanted to use this uh, accessory and hit my blinds with it because I like to use my um, vacuum to clean my bl blinds. Now I will use a Swiffer every once in a while, but I'll find that if I go over it with a brush and my vacuum, um, it really gets rid of the dust and you don't have to use the Swiffer uh, very much. Now I'm going to move on to my end tables, coffee table, and my sofa table. So I do have a negative to report. I could not get it under my coffee table because the main body wouldn't fit. So 
In that case, I would need to get a wood cleaner and a Microsoft cloth to really get this under the coffee table good. So onto my sofa table and oh my, do you see that dust? It gets quite dusty behind there and I try to dust it off several times a week but it always gets dusty. Today I wanted to go ahead and vacuum off my love seat, my couch, and my chair. And so I used the mini power brush attachment for the Tyneco and I really like it. I like how it has like a plastic maneuverable um, surface and it really does apply a lot of suction um, to whatever you're cleaning. I also use that attachment on our staircase as well. So here I'm also going to use it on the pet beds. And boy did it really pick up a lot of pet hair. Of course Nyla hasn't really um, hit this shedding stage, but um, Moko sure has. <laughs> Christmas is getting closer and uh, so what do you guys normally do on Christmas Day for your meals? I'm trying to figure out maybe a special uh, lunch or um, like a dinner that we could do, something quick and easy. Um, we usually do French toast or something like that for breakfast, but I was trying to get some new ideas for our afternoon meal. So if you could, leave me what you're going to do in the comments below. So the working time for the Tyneco is about 50 minutes on the auto mode and about 10.5 minutes on the max power. And it also takes, for a full charge, it takes three to four hours. So now that the room's all clean, it's time to light that candle. And today I'm lighting the vanilla pumpkin marshmallow. It's one of my favorite, but I did get a new candle holder that is uh, snowflakes to make it more Christmassy. Here's one final look at all the dust and dirt that I was able to get out of my family room. I don't know about you, but it's kind of satisfying to be able to see all the stuff that I was able to get up. Well, that's it for today's video. I think I'm going to go grab me a cup of coffee. I hope that you've enjoyed cleaning with me today, and I hope that I've given you some motivation. If you did enjoy the video, make sure to give me a thumbs up and be sure to hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. I'd love to know what you think of the vacuum. So let me know in the comments or just say hi. I'd love to get to know you better. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.